Hello and welcome back to another quick episode on SuperTech's channel. I'm Will Gaskins with Service Tech Heating and Cooling and today we're going to be going over some real easy ways on how to test a relay. Uh, we're not going to go over where you find these things, we're going to go over a couple different ways on how to test them. So first up, uh, roadmaps, I know everybody's scared of them, but take a look at this one. It's a really easy roadmap on this relay. Um, I just found this relay in the shop and I wanted to test it myself to see if it was good or bad. So here we see between uh, one and three, that is our coil. That's our 24 volts being fed. That turns this thing on and off, opens it and closes this relay. We see that naturally as it sits, uh, pins five and six should be normally closed. There's a bar there that connects itself and two and four should be normally open. So according to this, if I test it, I should have a beep or a no beep between five and six. I'm looking for continuity. Do I have it or do I not? Which one is it? That's right, I'm gonna have a beep there. So between two and four, there is no path until the coil is applied and it plunges that up there, then there will be a path and two and four should become beep. So we're gonna set this down. I have my own 24 volts here, my own thermostat and my own setup on how to call for it and how to test them. A lot of times when I find these in the field, they're in just horrific spots. They're awful spots to get to. I've seen a lot of techs that just condemn them. Uh, and they've never tested them once. And, uh, you know, that's a problem, especially on such an easy part to troubleshoot. So here we go. First off, I want to test my coil. And I'm going to take my meter, field piece. Hopefully it's going to sponsor me one day because I love their tools so much. Seven years on the same meters, and they're just still rocking. Never failed me. Uh, going to volts AC. I'm going to set this down right here. And I'm going to test right across at the coil. And I am at zero. And there's another way I could do my hopscotching method where I can go find a ground in the unit somewhere, put that pin on it, and I can come right up here and touch each lead and see if 24 volts is even coming from my board or coming from my transformer. Uh, here I do not because, well, the transformer's off. In this case, the door is off the unit, right? The transformer's not made. And I wanna come in and test these pins. As it naturally sat, it said that uh, pins five and six, should be closed. I'm gonna take my meter and I turned it over to ohms, the horseshoe, right? And on my particular meter, I'm gonna hit select one more time. And that's gonna give me a beep or no beep situation. So according to this, I come across my relay and I got a closed circuit. I do have a beep. I come across this second one, these other pins in the front, I have no beep like it's supposed to because there is no path. So as we see here, beep, no beep. So when voltage is applied to the coil for whatever reason, thermostat calls. I can prove that right here on my meter. I moved over back to volts and I went across and I see 28.1, there's my control voltage present. So coming back over to ohms, hit my select button for beep or no beep. And now when I was closed circuit and I had a beep, I do not. So that pin has indeed opened up and is no longer a path. And this pin that was first was a no beep is now a beep. Excellent, is now a beep. So we've proved that this switch is opening and it is closing like it's supposed to. We've also proved the control voltage coming from the transformer. And we did that fairly simple. Uh, this setup, if you've never made one, I highly suggest it. Uh, it'll really help you out in a pinch uh, and help you speed up some things to make sure that it's not any of your relays in a system that's causing a problem. If you learned anything here, like and subscribe. Let me know. Who knows what else I'm going to put out.